now I would like to introduce to you our new president, Daniel Morgan. This is the International Association for the Study of Dreams. Why do we study dreams? Because we had dreams as children that we could not forget? Because as teenagers or young adults, we discovered lucid dreaming or experienced phenomena such as sleep paralysis or sleepwalking? Because we have questions about life, existence, and hope to find deeper meaning by understanding dreams? because we feel we have found great answers to these questions and dreams already and want to extend our discoveries to help benefit humanity and all life on Earth. We study dreams to help improve mental health, physical, spiritual, and emotional health. We study dreams because they are authentic and we seek authenticity. We study dreams because we are curious, we are dedicated, we are the IASD. At age four, my first dream guide was my father, who had been inspired by the work of Kilton Stewart. He taught me to confront my fears and transform my fears using Stewart's Sonoy dream theory. Later, at the age of 15, I was mentored by Eduardo Duran, an Apache Pueblo shaman, who gave me tools to work with my dreams from another perspective of the life world. When I was 19 years old, I became a regular member of a dream group led by my next mentor, Clara Stewart Flagg, who was the widow of Kilton Stewart. Stewart, as many dream enthusiasts are aware, was the person responsible for introducing Sonoy dream theory to grassroots dream working communities in the United States after his life-changing experiences with the Sonoy Temiar tribe in the 1930s. Clara's group had been meeting for 15 years before I joined them in the late 1980s. After Clara passed away, in 1995, she visited me in a dream. That same year, I began facilitating dream circles and stimulating communities in California and Oregon with the seeds of Sonoy-inspired cross-cultural dream education. As a doctoral student at Saybrook, when I was developing a dream arts curriculum for all ages, using phenomenology and documentary filmmaking as methods for researching the dream creativity link in community and designing an architectural structure for a dream arts center. Stanley Kripter said to me, you really must join the IASD. So I did, and he was right. On many levels, my experience as a dream worker opened up, my ideas blossomed, and I found that the IASD not only supported and encouraged my work in the multifaceted field of dreams, it gave me a place to give back that I support and believe in 100%. At my first IASD conference in 2009, when I was the sender for the annual Dream Telepathy Contest, I spent my time as agent alternately sending images of the target picture, which was a space shuttle blasting off from its launch pad, and engaging in a series of lucid dreams. This is the first part of the first dream in the series. I climb in the rocket and blast into space. After shooting into the sky, I swirl around with all the Dream Telepathy Contest sendees. They are full of love. We sing of the dream movement and how it is literally going to save the world. Since as long as I can remember, dreams have been saving my world. Who knows how many times dreams have actually saved the world, or we have saved the world together in dreams. Each of you know how dreams have saved your world and the worlds of others you have helped by simply listening to a dream, honoring a dream, studying a dream, drawing a dream, acting out a dream, writing a dream, singing a dream, dancing a dream, researching a dream in a laboratory, or meeting up with friends in a faraway dreamscape. Dream sharing, when done in the right way, empowers individuals with sympathy, understanding, self-esteem, and a sense of community. Having an open mind to the experiences of others and co-creating a safe, non-judgmental environment are important elements for dream sharing. And in my opinion, honoring and working with our dreams in a community of safety and trust 
replaces the decrepit paradigm of an unsafe, untrusting world. I believe well-informed dream study groups and well-prepared dream sharing circles can benefit the psychological health of any group wishing to find truthful daily interactions. Montague Ullman wrote that dream education and social dream sharing is a needed, perhaps necessary piece to help support the survival of our species. With board approval, input, cooperation, and collaboration from the IASD Dream Study Groups Committee, Regional Events Committee, and the Education Committee, it is a great pleasure for me to see that IASD Dream Study Groups will be forming soon online. And if that interests you, take a look at the education section of the IASD website for more information about how to sign up and get involved in one of those groups. If you're researching anything related to dreams and dreaming, there is no better place to find what you're looking for than on the IASD website, in the IASD journal or magazine, at IASD conferences, and amongst the high-caliber, multi-talented IASD membership. Over the years, I cannot count how many times I have heard IASD members say that attending their first IASD conference and becoming a member improved and changed their lives in astonishing ways. We also have some pretty stellar regional events, and you can read about those on the IASD website. I want to encourage IASD members to get involved with events on a regional as well as global level. We've made great technological advances and can achieve a great deal in cyberspace, as evidenced by the success of our October Cyber Dreaming conferences. But as our annual conferences and regional events have shown us, nothing can exactly replace the experience of gathering in physical space. In today's world, we need both. I love the way IASD manages to maintain a healthy balance between science and art. We're all on the edge of our seats to see what the latest scientific discoveries can reveal to us about dreams, and at the same time, we leap for joy to experience the next dream art exhibit, dream-inspired performance, or the epic performance art-infused dream ball. Since ancient times, writers, artists, musicians, scientists, and a variety of people from other professions have logged their dreams or shared them, then acted upon them creatively in waking life. As a psychologist, I have many interests, but I specialize in the link between dreams and creativity I enjoy working with all ages, from children, teens, and parents, to my doctoral students, peers, and colleagues, to unfold the empowering magic of this link. Dream work and creativity, development, and dream education are my passions, so I'm happy to say that IASD has started to collaborate with some dreamy, artistic organizations of a much larger scale than we have before. And it is my hope that more artistically inclined people discover the IASD and learn to nourish the natural relationship between visual, performing, or literary arts and dreams. There's so many great reasons to study dreams. We study dreams because we're students, teachers, professors, scientists, psychologists, anthropologists, dream workers, filmmakers, artists, authors, and enthusiasts. Within the vast diversity of our approaches and perspectives on studying dreams, working with dreams, and even dreaming itself, we all share an interest, a love, a passion for dreams. And because we share that bond, we get to learn from each other, open our minds to different approaches and viewpoints, add to our knowledge about dreams and dreaming, share our wisdom about dreams and dreaming with each other, grow together as an organization, a family, a tribe. It is a great honor to serve you as the new ISD president, and my heart is full. I look forward to getting to know each of you better, hearing your ideas, learning about your strengths, and helping you find more ways to get involved. And to those of you who contribute to the IASD so much already, thank you. You are all superheroes. So here's looking ahead to another great year of collaborating, working, playing, dreaming, and manifesting together.